Now, I've never been the biggest Miss Marvel fan. I've never disliked her, I just didn't care for the Inhumans. They didn't feel like they were being pushed because writers had good ideas for Inhumans, but rather they had good ideas for mutants and Disney didn't own the rights to them yet. Now that they own X-Men and mutants, the only Inhuman who maintained any real popularity is being made into a mutant, like she probably would have been if it weren't for the movies. This may sound terrible, but I honestly only care about this new Miss Marvel solo because of the new mutant part of the title. It's a good, albeit contrite hook. We don't get many new characters who are new to their mutantdom to get a solo series. If you're getting a solo series, you're a big shot. This means that we don't have a lot of room for characters who are just coming into terms of being mutants. This makes Mrs. Marvel, the new mutant, feel a bit like a classic throwback to the days of Jubilee and Shadowcat back when they were newcomers to the X-Men. Kamala is struggling with the hate that comes with being a mutant. While it can come off a bit contrived sometimes because she was not human at some point, other times it feels all too real. This issue is trying to walk the line between what real prejudice sounds like and what prejudice against mutants sounds like. It lands about half the time, but it's never bad, I guess. This does leave the issue feeling rather basic as it sets up a rather predictable premise, but that's okay. Sometimes comfort food is comfort food, and my only, my only real issue stems from how Kamala Khan went from being an inhuman to a mutant. Technically she's still an inhuman, but the book just treats her like a mutant who isn't obviously a mutant. Maybe this is on purpose, but even when she's in the X-Men's colors, she doesn't feel like she fits in. She never really fit in among the Inhumans either, and now she just stands out even more. The X-Men are her people yet, and it's weird seeing her be one of them. This is something we'll have to get used to, but I do have to warn everyone, she's not going to fit in at first. She feels like a champion at heart. I do expect Miss Marvel readers to be split on this book. She's still Kamala Khan, but it's going to feel off. X-Men fans will feel the same way, but it's in no way bad, I think. This issue is just good. A good comfort food of a comic, and I think many can appreciate that. I think it's worth checking out. Now, this is where I say if you like this review, please like and subscribe to the YouTube channel and the blog. Thank you for listening.